Hello everyone, Inventor719 here. And for today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a fun little office weapon, and it is going to be a semi automatic catapult. For this project, you're going to need a few household items. You're going to need some skewer sticks, the long ones, a pen, three plastic spoons, equal amount, you can do more than three if you want, equal amount of uh, little alligator binder clips, whatever you call them, some electrical or duct tape, elastics, around five clothes pins, and then for assembly, you're going to need hot glue gun and scissors as well. To start building the base, um, use three of your skewer sticks, doesn't matter what direction they're pointed in, and assemble them in a little triangle format like this, and just use some electrical tape on each end to hold them together. So now that we have our base constructed, the next step is to use these closed pins, and I'm going to put them evenly spaced, one approximately there one right in the middle and one on the inside of that tape over there and I'm going to put them in as far as they can go right there to make a stand. So what I've done here as you can see is just simply attach the clothes pins to the stick sticks as the base and then I actually got this piece of cardboard to keep everything more sturdy and attached it with hot glue on the bottom of the pins there and for the next step, we're going to build the top brace, which, exact same procedure, use three sticks and glue it as high as you can just on the inside of those clothes pins. There's the top bar installed, and for the next step, with your other two clothes pins, we're going to be hooking them on to these edges like that and angling them down as another support along the sides. And then you're going to take two more shish kebab sticks or um, anything else that would work like a popsicle stick for example and extending it back all the way to the back of your card cardboard base and trimming it up right about there so it fits perfectly this is just to add more support and this is the start of the trigger mechanism as you can see I have connected these side braces and the last thing I did for the frame was put two more shish kebab sticks taped together back here and I put them the exact distance of this spoon so it could rest on it just like that. Now to attach these spoons to the bottom brace that's where the alligator clips come in so basically just clip them on like so spin them around so they're facing just like you see there and then just tack on some hot glue on either side to prevent this part from moving back and forth like that and space the three evenly along. So I'll probably do like one, two, and one just on either side of that middle clothespin. Now, while those dry there just like that, make sure these can move still. And over here, we're going to, going to be making the launchers. And so all I've done is grab your plastic spoon, take apart your pen so it is just a tube, just like that, and cut off pieces around half to three quarters of an inch and what I'm going to do is hot glue them just on the ridge of your plastic spoon just like that. So here it is all I've done is attach the straws on the back of the spoons as you see there and attach these spoons to the alligator clip metal pieces just with some electrical tape and hot glue so the goal is when they all sit on the back rest, the straw, or sorry, the straw or pen pieces rest just like that. And the last step, of course, take your elastic and thread it through itself on the top bar. So it's positioned just like this. And then wrap it around the spoon just like this around here a million times not actually a million but just enough to make it really nice and tight give it some tape and then I'll show you some shooting tests 
Here is the final product with the modification that I decided to make being these four little straws you see here. One, two, three, four. And that will be used to hold our trigger stick. And I position them in such a way that when you push the spoons down, they go right in between the straws. And I just added a very little support on the back here. Everything being secured with some hot glue and electrical tape. So to fire this, I got a coat hanger and cut a straight strip with some wire snippers and just did a little loop at the end that I could use to pull. And to load, all you do, push it down and then starting in one end, put your cl close hanger through all of the straws, both the ones on the back of the spoon and the ones on the piece of wood. So feed it through all three, and you're ready to fire. So now time to shoot. I have a few different projectiles today. A few coins here, pennies, nickels, and dimes. And a few thumbtacks, so let's start with these and see how they do. Here we go. Test two. Fast as possible, here we go. So there you have it, a semi-automatic catapult, fire three different objects, and if you saw the end there, you can fire pretty much three at the exact same time. It's easy to build, and you should have all the materials around your house. So if you enjoyed this video, and I have a few very cool projects coming up um, very soon, so please give me a subscribe, help me reach the 100,000, only 10,000 to go. And as always, thanks for watching, and please like, comment, and subscribe. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Do me a favor and click that big red subscribe button right there. And also, check out some of my other videos by clicking the links on the screen.